Good morning, New Season Ministry. It's September 29th, and I'm Mercedes. I'm Shawnee. We hope everyone is enjoying Mass Choir and worshiping the Lord together. Thank you all for coming today. We would love to see you all in your seats and with a friend every Sunday at 10 15 Sharp here at New Season Ministry. Today, Pastor Jay's sermon topic is an investment of a lifetime. And we're just going to throw this out there for you. You know, just for prep, Sister Shanita has been organizing a networking workshop. But not just that, also resume writing tips and interview help. It'll be here all day, November 2nd. More information will be released next month. The Usher's Ministry is now accepting donations for Operation Christmas Child Drive. So help a young child find happiness with a special gift from you. You can keep making boxes until October 21st, but don't forget shipping is $7 per box. For any questions, feel free to see Miss Danielle Jackson. Time is running out. Wednesday is the first day of class for some of you. New Season Ministry is hosting Dave Ramsey's Financial Peace University here. The program is biblically based to teach you how to handle money God's way. The class runs up until Thanksgiving every Wednesday night at 6.30. For more questions, please see Pastor Jay after today's service. And as always, if you want to help or get behind the scenes info on the announcement film crew, we're here every Wednesday at 5.30. Our sessions are usually short, so no need to skip the Ramsey class. So stop by before and check us out. While we were in the studio, we finally got First Lady Deborah to come and pay us a visit. And get on camera. So, in this week's session of How to Not Be a Chair Warmer in Two Minutes or Less, we have our very own wonderful Lady D talking about children's ushers. So today, I have First Lady DeBoer from the Youth Ushers Ministry with me. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. Thank you for asking. Okay, so First Lady, can you tell us what made you want to get the youth involved in ushering? I think it's a great opportunity for them to serve. The youth is our present generation today, and as leaders, it is our responsibility to empower them, to help them seek out the God's purpose for them and help them fulfill that purpose. Okay, so can you tell us how the youth can come get involved with you all? Well, we meet every Tuesday, every second Tuesday of the month at 6 p.m., usually from 6 to about 7. It gives us a time to get in God's Word and also bond with each other and find out what's going on with them in their school life and their other life. So you're definitely building a personal relationship with everybody you're Absolutely. working with. Absolutely. Can you tell us, do you all have any other events or gatherings outside of the meeting on Tuesday and the ushering on Sunday morning? We try to align the ministry with the church vision statement. Pretty much, we get in God's Word. Then we reach out into the community, the church body first, and then out into the community, trying to get them to get a community project. We worked with the adult ushers last year with the Samaritan Purse. This year I want them to have their own community project. Okay, that sounds good. So all you teens out there needing community service hours, because I know some of y'all need them for school. <laughs> Ushers is a good way, easy way to get in. Why not? Miss DeBoer is awesome. I know you want to come spend some time with her. Thank you for coming in. We appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs> thank you all for watching. And a special thank you to Mrs. DeBoer for joining us. Please check out our website at www.newseasonministry.org. And remember to follow our Twitter page at New Season M-N-S-T-R-Y. Here's some announcement advice. Real knowledge is to know the extent of one's ignorance. So sit down, sit back, and listen. You can't learn everything alone.